Greetings, everyone. This is Sister Crystal here with Classic Hip Hop Storage Box, back with another Today in Hip Hop History moment. On April 28, 1998, Big Pun released his debut album entitled Capital Punishment with the Terror Squad label. It was the only album released during his lifetime. Capital Punishment included guests such as Buster Rhymes, Funk Master Flex, Fat Joe, Wyclef John, and R&B singer Joe, as well as many others. Big Pun's lyrical skills are evident on the hit singles, which included the platinum-selling I'm Not a Player, which topped the R&B charts, the follow-up remix hit single Still Not a Player, featuring Joe, which is R&B singer Joe, which topped number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. Oh my goodness, that was my favorite song by Big Pun. Big Pun. I think part of it was like, um, you nasty twin. And he goes, I don't care on um, Don't Want to Be a Player No More or something like that. That is my favorite song. The remix with uh, R&B singer Joe. Oh my goodness, love, love, love that song. It was uh, fun, lighthearted, um, actually a little funny too. So um, I absolutely love that song. Also, and you came up featuring fellow New Yorker Noriega, which hit both the R&B and rap charts. Nominated for a Grammy in 1999 for Best Rap Album, Capital Punishment topped the R&B charts and reached number five on Billboard Top 200 charts and was certified platinum. Now, uh, my understanding, Big Pun is the first Latino rapper whose solo album went platinum. And also, Capital Punishment was number one on the R&B charts for two weeks. So that is a big deal for a hip-hop album to be number one on the R&B charts for a couple of weeks. In addition, Capital Punishment by Big Pun received a four out of five mics rating from the Source magazine, which is a big deal in hip-hop. Now, I believe Big Pun, I believe his name, Big Pun, is short for Big Punisher, I believe so. Also, uh, Capital Punishment, the album, it also came out in cassettes also. Also, Capital Punishment has a staggering 24 tracks. And I'm looking at the track list. It includes the title song, Capital Punishment, featuring Prospect, Big Pun, who released Capital Punishment 23 years today on April 28, 1998. But he had a lot of great features. Also, another one on here, Trez Lachies. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It featured Prodigy and Inspector Deck. Also, um, in addition to the guest appearances, he had some great producers on here, including but not limited to Rock Wilder. Also, okay, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is a producer on here. And RZA, RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan is also a producer on here. So uh, Big Pun, he was able to get a lot of great producers for his debut album. Now, unfortunately, his career came to an end when he had passed away in February 2000 of a heart attack at the young age of 28, but he uh, released a definite hip-hop classic with Capital Punishment. I also believe he's uh, actually coming up to be a possible nominee, possibly for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, because I believe you have to be 25 years at least from when you first debuted. I believe Big Pun first debuted 
in 1997 or 98. Now, his album was released in 98, but he had um, some singles that he released in 1997. But also, what is your favorite big pun single off the classic Capital Punishment album released April 28, 1998? Mine is Still Not a Player featuring Joe the R&B singer Joe. And what's yours? This has been Sister Crystal with Classic Hip Hop Storage Box. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.